Hi there, I'm Scott with Total Lighting Supply. I'm the product manager and I'm the guy who looks at all the new products before they go on our website. They have to get past me first before they go there. I just got back from Light Fair and I have a whole number of new things to look at that you might be interested in looking along with me uh, right when I open the box. I'll go over what I think and what I see and give you an idea of sense of scale, uh, sense of quality. I think it'll really help. It'll help us and it'll help you making selections for your project. And as usual, if you need anything at all, we have a whole crew of people here that can help you. We do this all day, every day. So we're here to answer your questions. So without further ado, let's get started right away. This is a little tiny connector that we found. Um, we've been looking for something like this for uh, years and years because landscape lighting is always kind of a challenge when making up your electrical connections. Um, you want to keep them secure, you want to keep them dry, um, you want to make a good solid connection. And we've made a whole nother video on this, it's on our website, uh, that you can take a look at of all the other connectors. So this one's the newest of the group. Um, is this the perfect connector? No, don't think so. Is it really, really good? Yeah, I think so. Um, Nothing's perfect, um, and some of the professional landscapers don't use connectors at all. Like I said, we ad we addressed that in the other video. But let's take matters at hand and take a look at what we got. So the little square connector, I've already loosened up all the screws here. Um, so let's comment on the screws before we even get anywhere. Um, these are heavy-duty screws. You're going to take a good-sized Phillips screwdriver. You're going to hold the connector really straight. And you're going to screw these screws in hard. It's not something you're going to do up in your hand. You're going to set the connector down on the ground or on something solid. When I'm working in the field, I bring a little piece of 2x4 with me, and I set it on a 2x4 so I can hold it firmly, take the screwdriver, and drive these screws in hard. And there's a reason you want to do that. This is called the displacement connector. And let me open it up. But uh, wait, before I get there, let me show you the outside. So on the outside, and I'm going to kind of rock this around a little bit. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. There's a bunch of numbers, 12G, 16G, and 18G. And that stands for 12 gauge, 16 gauge, and 18 gauge. So uh, let, let's, get, let's get into this. So I'm going to open this up. This, this screw is a little tight. I'll take that off here. Take all the screws away and move to the inside. And this is hard to do this in a video atmosphere because it's, it's little. I'm going to take the connector and turn it sideways. So let's take a look at what we got here inside. Um, it's called a displacement connector. These little, little, little pins down in here, little sharp pins. And there's actually three sets of them. If you remove these rubber gaskets, you'll see there's one, two, three sets. So the gaskets are set up to try to keep this thing waterproof. So when you run your wire through this, you're going to pull the gasket out. Now, nobody really uses a 12 gauge wire anymore with the new LED lights, but a lot of people have 12 gauge out there in their landscaped area. So they made the connector to accept 12 gauge. If you're doing a new installation, you're going to leave that gasket right in place because we're not going to use 12 gauge anymore. We just don't need it. Um, we don't need that big heavy wire out in the field because the LED lights, um, are so efficient they pull very little amperage we don't need a big wire because there's no there's no voltage loss really anymore and on voltage loss with the leds we actually made a video on that so you could check that out so we're going to leave that gasket in if you try to press it down after taking it out it's not going to want to go all the way but when we put the connector back together it will so that's going to leave open the 16 gauge and the um the little 18 gauge so the bigger the number the smaller the wire so how does this work on your landscape lighting run i'm going to take this away if you don't mind on your landscape lighting run your feed wire is going to go through the connector just like this you're going to press it in place don't worry about pressing it all the way down not not yet but just press it with your thumb get it kind of snug in there and those little those little uh, pins are going to start biting into it right away um, so they can make electrical connection. Now, your light wire going up to your light fixture, um, hopefully it's the same type of wire. Now, if it's a round wire, some of the older fixtures and some fixtures have round wire, a lot of your underwater lights have round wire. Um, so this connector is not going to work. This connector is going to work with a flat wire. And the flat wire doesn't go through the connector. This is the wire going up to your light fixture. And we're going to show you something really cool here in a minute about how to test all of this. Um, so here's the feed wire. It goes through the connector so you don't have to cut it. So this is your 12 volt feed wire and this is your 12 volt wire going back up to your light fixture. 
and this is your electrical connection and this is how you're going to make it. Notice, really important, it doesn't go through. It ends right here inside this connector. So you kind of have to hold it all together and then you're going to put your connector back together and if you look at the screw pattern, two on one side and one on the other, so two on one side and one on the other, so it screws together correctly. So uh, again, you're going to take that screwdriver and you're going to drive those screws in there hard because you want this thing to seal. You want the rubber seals to be pressed down and you want these wires to be crimped down on top of those little uh, those little connectors. So that's how this works. Now I'm going to show you a little trick that we learned um, on uh, checking your, your voltage to your light fixture. Did you really make a good connection or not? So let's talk about that. So I'm going to reset here in just a second. Um, so I'm going to shut the camera off, reset, so you can come back and take a look at this. I'm going to show you this hack, but I want you to be really careful. You only do this on 12 volt uh, circuits. You don't do this on 120 volt circuits. You do this on the landscape wire that feeds the fixtures. Not before the transformer, after the transformer. So if you're concerned, and if you don't own a voltage meter, this hack isn't for you. I would contact an electrician, have him come in, it only takes a little bit to check out circuits. Never, ever, ever do this on a 120 volt feed wire going into your transformer or any other 120 volt wire. It's just not safe. Thanks. So here's a little demonstration I promised you, a little trick that you can use in the field. Now I've laid it out here on my workbench um, so you can see everything as best we can. So what this is, is this is the wire that comes from the connector and goes to your light fixture. Okay, this is the little little uh, uh, two wire. Um, this one's 18 gauge and it's going from the power, which is over on this side, to your light fixture, which is up the, row, or up the road here. So how do I know there's actually power in that wire going to the light fixture? A lot of people contact us and say our light fixture is burnt out. Well, when it actually it isn't burnt out, there's another problem somewhere else. It's not getting, it's not getting power. So it could be back at the connector level. It could be the transformer. Um, it could be some variables. So we got to test it to see what the variables are. Well, you don't want to cut the wire to see if it's working, if there's power there, but there's a trick. Go back in the house and get a straight pin. Actually get two of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the straight pin and we're going to push it through the insulation of the wire into the copper that's on the inside. Just push it through. Okay, you can actually go all the way through if you want. So I pushed it in there, so it's sticking out. I made sure that I only pushed it on one side because we need to get the other side. And I'm not going to take the pin and put them right next to each other. That, that would be bad if they touch. You'll get a short. I'm going to move the pin down the road here a little bit and I'm going to push this pin in into the... Into the uh, into the uh, the rubber and it's okay because when you pull the pin out the rubber is going to close back up so there's the pin in the second spot so now I have my 12 volt wire with two pins sticking out now all I got to do is get my voltage meter bring it out and put the probes on and see if I got power and there it's a little it's a little hard it's a little hard to make those connections because it's tight so I'm actually getting 13 volts coming out of that transformer which is fine we're, we're within range there it is right there. So this is a way to test your wiring to see if power is running through without cutting anything. Now you can just take the straight pins out, just one, two, and, and move to somewhere else. So it's an easy fix. And a lot of people don't know how to do this, but you saw how simple it is. Now, of course, you have to set your voltage meter for 12 volts AC, not 12 volts DC. Very few landscape lighting systems are DC. Very, very few. Actually, somebody somebody went that direction, and it's not catching on. Um, but there's a way to, to check your wiring. And if you don't have voltage here, then back towards the transformer could be the connector, which we talked about just a few minutes ago. Could be the connector, could be the transformer, but there's something down that way that's not working. It's not your light fixture at this end. Um, so there's something I, I think you should know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, come back and see us again. We got all kinds of videos. We add them all the time. Take care. At Total Lighting Supply, we understand the importance of your time. Not everyone can be a lighting expert. We're not just about selling you light bulbs, light fixtures, and light components. We're also about helping you achieve amazing and successful lighting results in your space. We hope that our video series will assist you in achieving your lighting goals.